Hey guys, it's Jen from I Create Crafts. In today's video, I will be showing you step by step how to create these customized coasters for the cost of a few pennies. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and leave me a thumbs up if you love this video. Now let's get started. So I'm starting in Design Space and I wanted to show you this quick tutorial. I started cutting these out and putting them together and I'm like, oh my gosh, this would be a great video tutorial for you guys. So I hope you really enjoy it. So with that being said, I'm starting in Design Space. I purchased all of these from a store on Etsy. I will leave their link below in case you're interested in this. I really do love it. But I will tell you and I will be honest with you, it took me a while to kind of sort everything out. So it did not go in any kind of order like I had to put all these coffee ones and find them together all the tea ones all the beer ones obviously you don't have to do this but it's kind of makes it better when you want to cut it out and you want to cut it a different color you don't have to figure out okay where's all the coffee ones where's all the tea ones you just put it all together like this so it, if you're gonna do that it will take you a little bit I'm just being honest with y'all so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of these two right here. I already cut some of these out so I don't need all of these. I just wanted to show you guys a few things that you need to do. So if I was to cut this out right now without welding or attaching anything, that means everything is going to go whack. It's not going to go how you see it because you can tell right here on the side, none of these are attached or welded together. So with that being said, it's just going to look crazy. So you need to go in and attach everything. And I'm going to show you what I mean really quick, just in case you're new to Cricut and you're not sure what I mean. So because this is a larger uh, project, it's going to just take a minute, but I'm going to show you. So if I don't attach anything together or weld, this is what it's going to cut out and look like. It is just jibber jabber. You'll never figure it out. So with any kind of project you are doing, you always want to make sure things are welded or uh, attached together. So this is what it's going to look like before if you don't do anything. So I'm going to click can cancel here and then I'm going to show you what how to fix that. Okay, so we're back here. So with this first one already selected, I'm just going to go to attach down here and I'm going to do the same thing with every single one of these. So it's time consuming, yes, but then you won't have the problem of it looking like it did. So I'm just going to each one and click in attach. And you can see it starts out white and then it goes to this gray color. So you know that it's all attached to each other. So these ones will cut out just the way you see it. So there's nothing else you need to do with this to make them attached. The only thing you have to do is change your size. So the tiles that I bought, I bought, I don't know, a couple of years ago and I've used quite a few and I sold quite a few already. Um, if you're looking for them, they sell them at, you know, any hardware store. You can go to Menards or Home Depot or Lowe's and I believe they're like seven cents a piece. The only thing you want to do now that you attach these is change the size. My tiles are four by four and I want to make them a little bit smaller than four by four. So I have it selected here. I'm going to go up to the unlock box up here and I'm going to change it to 3.75 by 3.75. And that's going to be the exact size that I'm going to be cutting out. There's nothing else I have to do with this one, but I do have to go in and change all of these. It is a little time consuming, but once you have it done, you make sure you go up here and you save your project. I did all this already, but for the video purposes, I wanted to show you guys how to do it step by step. So I have my next one selected. I'm going to go up to the unlock box and change it to 3.75. But before I go and do all of these at 3.75, I'm just going to highlight this and I'm going to select it. I'm going to push my control C and I'm going to copy this so that I don't have to type these out every single time. So I'm going to go to the next one and then push command V. So that's going to change it for me. If you knew that already, great. If you didn't, I hope I showed you something new. So instead of typing them in, I'm going to go to the unlock box and then highlight and push or control V. And I'm going to do that for every single one so I don't have to sit here and type in 3.75 by 3.75. Hope that makes sense, guys. Try to teach you something new if you don't know it. So again, last one, unlocks. I'm going to just paste this 3.75 here. So these four are finished. So here is the part. It's up to you if you want to change the color. You can take all of them, select all four of them here, 
go to the color box and change it to let's say purple. It doesn't have to be purple, it's just going to say that it's a different color than all the rest of your ones. So if you wanted to do this one, let's say um, white, and then you wanted to do these, you know, black or these ones brown, you can change the colors and it just makes it so much easier that this whole four pieces are going to cut out on one piece of your vinyl. So it just makes it a little bit easier. So this one is finished. I'll show you really quick with this last one. Always make sure that you attach it. So you can see down here, it's not attached or welded. You want to make sure you do, otherwise it's going to look like the jibber jabber like I showed you. So I'm going to push attach. And I'm going to do it for each one of these. Just going down here and pushing attach. And then this last one. And then the last part again, going up here, unlocking it, and then just pasting your value that you had. Just makes it so much easier than typing them all out. But then that's pretty much it. So I'm just gonna do these ones here. Okay, so let's say I just wanted to use these two. So again, if I don't change the color of this one, I'm gonna cut all of these out and I don't wanna do that. So I'm just gonna take these four and I'm gonna change the color of this one, let's say yellow. So these are the only ones that I know I want to cut out. So instead of hiding all of these or deleting them, I'm just going to leave it as it is. And I'm just going to let Design Space think I'm going to be cutting this out. So I'm only going to be cutting the yellow and the purple here. So I'm going to go to make it. It's still going to tell me my project is large. Like I said, you can hide these if you want, but I'm going to go back and cut some more out. I have quite a few cut out already, but I'm going to show you the next step of putting these onto your coasters. It is so much fun and unbelievable how quickly these will sell. And I've done a few that say, you know, eggs on it. It says, bless this farm. It says milk and it says bacon, you know, with the chicken, the the pig and the cow on it, which is really cool. So I'm gonna try those. I, the possibilities are endless with these. I just hope you have a lot of fun with this. So again, here is the black one with all the jibber jabber that we didn't do anything with. I can go ahead and click on this yellow one down here. And here are the ones that we just did. So here's what they look like. So I always have a hard time getting my little scissors in between here. So I just move them over just a bit so I can get my scissors in between. And then also here as well. So I'm just dragging it and pulling it down just a little bit. I don't want to waste any more vinyl. So this one, you can cut it out yellow. You can cut it out whatever color you want. So I'm going to actually use this one black. But because I already have the black up here, I'm just going to keep it the way it is. So I'm going to go to this next one, this purple colored one. And I'm going to do the same thing and just change the, change, uh, move this around a little bit. So I'm just moving it. This one you can see a little bit better. Then I can just get my scissors in here and then I can know which part is which. So if you want to put anything else on here, you can. You can definitely use these two spots if you want to use them. I don't think any more are going to fit down here if you have the 3.75. So I'm just going to go to the continue button and I'm just going to show you which setting I use. I've been having a, quite a few people contact me and saying thank you for your videos. I really appreciate that, guys. I love hearing comments like that. I have a lot of people saying, you know, I'm brand new to Cricut. You've really helped me out. I'm so glad I could help you out. You know, everybody starts somewhere. I've been doing this for a couple of years, but every day I learn something new. And I love sharing with you guys what I know how to do, how I know how to do things. So if there's a video you want to see or something you're not sure on how to do it, please ask. I would love to do a video for anything that would help you out. I just use this stencil vinyl right here. It works amazing for me. Make sure you have a sharp blade in there. I'll leave a link below for the blades that I purchased. I think I got 36 of them for like $16 or something like that off of Amazon. Absolutely, absolutely amazing. So I'm going to finish this up. I'll weed it out, cut it out, and then I'll show you my tiles. I'll show you the backing that I use for it, and I'll show you how to attach them to it. So stay tuned, guys. I hope you're liking this. Give me a thumbs up if you do. Hit that subscribe button if you're not already, and let's keep going. Okay, so I wanted to show you really quick. Here are some of the ones that I made yesterday. Age only matters if you're whiskey, and then it has the backing on it already. Before, when I was doing these, I was cutting out the backing for it, but I found on Amazon that they sell them just like this. It has this, and then it's the cork on the back, and then this side is sticky, which is amazing because it's the exact size as this. So these are finished. I did some different colored ones with the beer ones. Um, and then here are the ones I was talking about that I created. This is just says milk with the cow, eggs with the chicken, bacon with the pig, and then bless this farm. Uh, I thought those were really cute to add as well. 
I'm gonna finish these up with some finishing touches. Like I said, I did the back. I'm gonna let these cure for about you know three or four days, and then it should be on here permanently, and you won't have any problems with you know water seeping into it or anything. So I'm gonna let them sit, but I'm gonna show you one last part when I'm finished with all of them, how I package them up just to make it look a lot better. So I'm just gonna move these for now, and then I'm gonna show you how to get started with these. So these are the tiles I'm going to be using. Like I said, I picked mine up at uh, Menards, but you can get them anywhere. So they just have this back that doesn't look very good, so that's why I put that backing on it. Instead of the little uh, circles that people put on it, I do the full backing. So to get started with this, you're just going to want to take some alcohol and some you know, cotton rubs or cotton balls, something, and clean off your top of your tile. These do get really dirty. You know, I have dogs here, so we have dog hair on it and everything, but you want to make sure everything is clean from it. It doesn't take a lot, just a little bit on a cotton pad, and just work your way and clean it really well. Get any spots or anything that are on it. And then you just want to make sure it dries completely before you try to put your vinyl on, because it definitely will not stick if it's wet. So I just do a couple, you know, quite a few of them and then let them sit while I'm working on my next project or on the next one, I should say. So just cleaning the tops of it, that's all. It just takes a really quick swipe. Doesn't take a lot to do, but prep is always key no matter what you're working on. So I'm just gonna do these few and I'll get more if I need more. And then I'll show you the next part. So. I have some transfer tape here, and I'm just using contact paper. I bought this off of Amazon instead of the dollar store normally I would go to. But this is just, I'll show you really quick. It's going to go a long way. It's huge. It's so much on here. And it was a couple of dollars versus going to the dollar store and running out of it. Plus, when I buy it from the dollar store, this gets really flat, and then it's hard to cut. So I like it when it has a whole bunch on it. So I'm just taking it, finding the edge here. Sometimes these can get kind of tricky. Here we go, and peel it off, and then start with your file. I'm just going to start with this one, bless this farm, Get this out of the way, and my transfer tape is a little bit bigger than my piece itself, but I like doing that just so I can hold on to it better. So I'm just taking my scraper, and I'm going to scrape it on really well. And that just ensures that everything is going on to the transfer tape. And I take it, I flip it upside down. I like to work backwards to make sure I get everything off. So you can see it and kind of like place it down if you're missing it. Which I am in a couple spots. Perfect. Okay. So then you're going to want to take one of your tiles and then just line it up. So I did the 3.75 by 3.75. And these are four inch tiles. So you have a little bit of wiggle room on each side. So I'm just working with the bottom and seeing if I can get it centered. I want the word to be centered with it. So here it is here. So once you get it where you like it, you just take your squeegee again and then work really hard with it, making sure you press in every spot. And then for extra, I just take my thumb sometimes and kind of wipe it on there as well. But it should just come, your vinyl should stay on, but your transfer tape should just come right off. Just like that. Perfect. So it's just like this. And then for the back, I'm just gonna show you really quick. So I have this, it's the cork board, but one side is sticky. So you just peel back the backing. And I love this stuff. I wish I would have found it first before going to the dollar store and cutting all this out myself. And this is a little bit smaller than your 4x4, so again, I'm just checking each side, trying to make sure it's centered roughly on each side. And that's it. And then you just push it down. So there's that, and here's this. So again, I wouldn't use this for a couple of days. I'd let it adhere, let the vinyl uh, adhere to it. So I'm just going to leave this one and not do anything else with it. I'm just going to start with the next one. So here I'm going to be using this pig and then the bacon one, and he looks like a fat pig. So using the same transfer tape as I just did, I love using my transfer tape over and over and over. Just do the same process. Just take your squeegee, and make sure you got on there really well, flip it upside down. 
and then pull the backing off. And then start with your next tile that you have that's nice and dry and clean. And then just do the same thing. I'm just working with the bottom here. Whoops. Working with the bottom and kind of making sure that the wording is straight. Looking on each side to make sure I have approximately the same amount on each side. So just like that. So I'm trying to look at the bottom to make sure that the word is straight. And then I'm trying to compare on the sides to make sure those are equally. So I'm just going to take my squeegee again. And then just pull this off. And again, I'm going to save my transfer tape for my next one. Go to the back. Take this little piece. Take the backing off. Sometimes they can be kind of difficult to get off. And then again, this side is sticky, obviously, so it works really well. And then just work with your edges and lay it down. So that is it. So I'm going to finish these ones up. I'll show you what they look like in the end, and then I'll also show you how I wrap them up and package them up so people can see them. Here are my finished tiles. I used some jute from the dollar store and wrapped it around each of my four tiles. I'm excited to sell these at my upcoming craft show and at the stores I am currently selling in. These sold really well for me last year, and I hope this video tutorial helps you and you go out and try it yourself. The possibilities are endless, and you can create whatever you want on these tiles for pennies on the dollar. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and leave me a thumbs up and a comment below. Happy crafting everyone!